at the back and I'm here with Eugene McInnes. How are you, sir? I'm good, man. I'm very good. I saw you, sir, and there was a lot of people, a lot of ladies. You have a big fans? That's, yeah, the, all sexes are welcome, but, um, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I thought you should be modest. There was, like, people dressed as cows as well, mm -hmm. people with fancy dress. So that, that was good. Yeah, yeah kept me, um, kept me amused. <laughs> yeah. So, um... What was you um, expecting? Because you said this is your first time. What were you expecting for of the festival when you came? I wasn't really sure, to be honest, because um, we turned up. It was kind of raining in London this morning. So you never really know, really. We've, um, I'd, heard, I'd heard of Blissfields, but I wasn't really sure if we were going to be turning up to like a, a mud pit yeah. with like three people and a dog, you know. So it was a lot better, actually. It looks like heaven on earth. So, um, and now we've got to go, so we can't even stick around yeah. and enjoy it. How did it all start from the beginning? Oh. When did your love for music start? start with that? Uh, well, I don't know, like, um, like most people, I mean, you, in your teens, you start taking it dead sort of seriously. You know, didn't really care when I was a kid about music. It was, it was kind of there, like I listened to Beatles records and, and stuff that my parents listened to. But then you get, I don't know, you get, you, you get a little bit older and it becomes really important out of the blue. And then um, all of a sudden you want to start learning guitar and and it just kind of took over, really, and became like an obvious thing to want to do. So, um, so you can't sing on a young... Oh, yeah, well, there's a single coming out called Harlequin 8. I'm out of costume Come Cobra trauma and crash my gate Trick or treat a swindle and be a man Let the slapstick cloud flop lipstick with that sort of, you know, I say I like Beatles, like Bowie and all that stuff, but it's like a very modern album. It's not like, I didn't want to record it in a retro way or anything like that. I wanted it to be like an upbeat thing that was going to sound good in a car or a club or something. I wanted it to be sort of banging. So, uh... I want a copy now. Oh, uh, yeah. I, yeah. I'll, I'll sort you one, definitely. And also, uh... Look, I'm very snazzy, I have to say, that you kind of put me to shame, so... Uh... Oh, man, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not built for the festival, though. If I went out there, I'd get you in alive. You'd, like, you'd, you'd be all right. Oh, yeah. yeah. Say, Thank you. Cheers. Seriously, but I'm, I'm not just saying that. I'm not trying to loop, um, toot your horn. Toot away. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so, what are you guys saying off now? Could you guys... Going back to London, yeah. We've got, um, we've got a few little things to sort out. I'm sorting out, like, artwork for the album and all that stuff. So, I've got... And then there's a few little bits and bobs, little interviews to do tomorrow in London. And then we've got a show on Tuesday uh, at the Lexington, oh, yeah. which is going to be really, that's in, I think that's in Islington. So that's going to be really good. So that's sort of like a, sort of like a, we're going to play the records really. We're going to play the record live and it's going to be a great man, I think. Yeah. You're a busy man. When do you have time to eat and sleep? Oh, there's plenty of time to eat. <laughs> Not so much time to sleep, but yeah, you know, there's many a snacker jack that's passed through these chops, <laughs> definitely. Oh, yeah. yeah. Thank you, man. Lovely to meet you. Thanks, man. Cheers. Thanks. Hi, I'm Eugene McGuinness, and you're watching Aramala Presents.